Welcome to Hillbilly Select Reviews. My beer guzzling, wine sipping, whiskey tasting, liqueur using friends. <laughs> Today, you know this is my famous Sunday morning coffee reviews. We all know this. I mean world famous because they're world famous. I do things just from around the world that just can't be replicated, can't be done. Today's no exception, Bones Coffee Company, right? Out of Cape Coral. And before we get to that, what do I do? I don't just do coffee, you know that. I do beer, wine, liquor, liqueurs, everything. And you need to check out my playlist and you'll see the probably 50, 60 playlists with everything broken down so nice. For gifts, if you're throwing parties, I'm telling you, you have to look at the playlist on this channel because you will be shocked, you will be awed, you will be amazed. I have several things for everyone, not something from everyone, several things for everyone. And all you got to do to keep me rolling down this river, okay? Because you're in the boat with me, okay? So you got to subscribe if you can, hit the thumbs up, leave a comment and watch to the end because that's the analytics, that's the secret, that's what you do. And I'll do the secret on this end. And part of the secret on this end is this Bones Coffee Company that always has a great design on here, right? Fantastic design, always. You see, they got a skeleton, they're big on the old skeletons, with a barrel. What's he got going on there? Obviously he's dressed up like a leprechaun. And there's the back. They got great packages. But let me tell you something about the coffee. Coffee's got great names, they got great artwork. All right, whoops. So yeah, and I'm looking, instead of a pot of gold, this cat's got a pot of coffee. All right, think there. Where's a pot of coffee? Now, great artwork, great names, great event. Coffee, sometimes very good, okay? Because I'm, if you say that this tastes like Irish uh, cream, then I expect it to taste like Irish cream. If it tastes like some delicious pizza flavor, no, you said Irish cream. They hit sometimes, they do, and they're very good when they do, and they don't hit sometimes, okay? Get big with the names, you better follow through. That's all I'm gonna say. Let's see if they hit the Irish coffee, right? Because yeah. I could put a bag of uh, on dog poop and name it Irish coffee. I mean, you gotta hit it. Right. It's a tough job. Mm -hmm. Mild coffee smell, okay? Not like a bit like coffee, traditionally coffee would smell in your in your mind. That's the underling. It's under. It's under what? It's under a patented chocolatey smell I smell in all the coffees lately. Very nice, pleasant chocolatey smell. It smells more like hot cocoa almost than coffee. Like 60% hot cocoa, 40% coffee. With an odd, maybe an odd alcoholic type smell. Now I smell that sometimes in coffee. I have nothing to do with alcohol. Um, so I don't know. So anyway, it doesn't smell like ice cream. <clears throat> it smells like the last one I just did. But let's see. I have pulled their bacon out of the fire before. Okay, with some techniques that I use. So let's see if we can hit this Irish cream. And I know Irish cream. And I review the hell of that. If you go to my... Uh, liqueur playlist, you'll see a lot of creams, liquors, Irish creams, every kind of cream. Be that uh, as I'm saying that. My first comment on here, you know the comment section, I always pin, usually, unless somebody knocks myself out of there with a great comment, but it'll be in there somewhere. Uh, a comment that I put up there with the coffee playlist attached to it, so you can watch all my hundreds and look through it and see them. I mean, I've got coffees on here, honestly. Just some, I go back and watch them all the time. I really do. There's some cool stuff. All right. That being said, let's smell it out of the old cupola. So here it is in the cupola. You know what? I'm looking out the window here. You know why? It's early spring, and I'm starting to uh, <clears throat> landscape. <clears throat> I got my flowers. I got my bird feeders. I got my chairs out there. I got my pond. I've been working on. I added a new bog to it. <clears throat> my hobbies. I love gardening. I love my fish pond. My koi ponds. Anyway, I just. I need to go out there and do it. My neighbor's working on his roof, and I don't want to hear that hammering. <sighs> on the video. Doesn't bother me when I'm just sitting there, but anyway, nobody cares. It's 
I should have cracked an Irish cream. I didn't think about it. I have them downstairs. Doesn't smell like it. Okay. Smells like it did in the back. It's got a pleasant chocolatey type smell, which I want Irish cream. Let's see what it tastes like. A little hot. I always make my coffee. In uh, this case, I did it in a French press to get the maximum, you know, extraction of the flavor out. It's always hot. Sometimes I'll even stick it in the microwave after that just to get it nice and hot. So while I'm talking, see, it's not, yeah, it's very hot. Oily sheen on top. I don't mind that. That's probably the flavoring. And they flavored it with something. Um, and I don't hardly ever rate things or tell people to buy it or not to buy it. I describe it, and you make up your own decision. You're big people. If it sounds like something you want. You admit. So on my reviews, I don't rate it or say it's terrible. So usually. I just talk about it and you decide. So in this case, it's hot. It's actually not a bad coffee. It's better than the last one I had. But if you're blindfolded, if I'm blindfolded, and you know I got a palette that's been certified by the uh, Hillbilly Select Review Certification Club. Uh, I can't taste the Irish cream. Taste the good coffee. But no Irish cream. Tastes good. Looks good. St. Patrick's Day. You got an Irish friend. Okay. Where they do good on here is they these things, these packages, are great for gifts and stocking stuffers. Because you know, if, you know on, or on St. Patrick's Day, if you get a gift or a bottle of whiskey, you know, it's cool to get it. And they have so many different things. But and I'll give them that. But I won't give them that it tastes like Irish uh, cream. Irish cream is a little sweet. So let's do this. Okay, I'm trying to save the race here. I'll put one little thing of sugar. Irish cream. Here is heavy cream. Okay, we're going to bring this as close as we can. I've saved them before because cream, which I love in coffee, oh, heavy, brings out flavor, see? A lot of times. And I did, I can't remember which one it was of ours that was failing and I put the heavy cream in and it hit right on. It was good. It was, it was hit with pistachio. Yeah. But the heavy cream, believe it or not, the pistachio tasted like pistachio. So, so I give that one was a good one. Irish cream should really taste like Irish cream with cream in it. You know what we're going to do? We're going to find out. It smells a hell of a lot better. I don't know if it's Irish cream, let me see. What would help this is to actually put some Irish cream in it. A shot. But what the hell? Um, no, it doesn't taste like Irish cream. Okay. I did ones in here where I put Irish cream. I put Bailey's and different ones, different flavored creams. Peanut butter cream and on and on and on. I told you I have it on the playlist. And that's, those things are good. But sometimes I want the flavor and I want the alcohol, right? You're at work or something. I can't be putting shots of liquor in my stuff. I want to have the flavor without the shots of liquor. They missed again. They do right half the time. They do. They hit it up. But they didn't do it on the Irish. At least I don't think so. And I got an uncanny ability to block out with this, you know, and not have the power of suggestion in my old grape. I can do it, I've done it for years. Um, there it is, you make up your own decision on it. I, my friends, like the packaging, always like the packaging. But on this one, I believe they missed the mark, again. Like I said, not to bash the company, the company has hit the mark. Maybe 60% of the time so far. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, everybody, I hope you have a wonderful day, whatever day you're watching this. I always tell people what I'm going to do on my Sunday. So I stole a little bit because i got to get out there. And do. So today what I'm going to do, I put a new uh, bog in my pond. Okay, I have a playlist, by the way, in my fish pond. 
Look up Koi Pond, you'll see my pond. I need to do a new one in my new bog, and I need to get some filter material to put it in my new bog where the water comes through to kind of filter and keep it clean. Um, and I need to get some plants for it. So that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm going to go to the store now, and I'm going to get the, the things done. That's the hard work. So I'm just going to get the, uh, the filtering material and hopefully get some plants for the bog and, uh, and sit out there and feed my fish and watch them. And I drink my coffee usually in the morning when I'm not doing a review. And uh, in the evening, see, that's when I have my beverage, sipping out there real nice watching the fish, right? My beautiful paradise I made out there, my paradise, my world. From Hillbilly Select Reviews, everybody, thank you for being here. Do your part, okay? Together, we will, this will be amazing what we can do together. We have to do this together. Join. And, or if you can't join, and even if you can, you know, to hit that thumbs up, to comment, and of course to watch this, you're still here. Because all this stuff hits the analytics. And YouTube rewards us for that. And then I feel like, yay, that's great, and I'm going to keep getting stuff, and searching the world, and putting these reviews out. Spending my time and my money for all of us. From Hillbilly Select Views, everybody. I will see you all on the next one.